Hello and welcome to the Trading Bots YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Bloombot tutorial, how to set it up, use the best tips and tricks, the best settings, and so much more. So, without wasting further time, let's get right into it. So, first things first, go to the link in the description tradingbots.net. It's the link right here. Once you're there, this is the page it's going to take you to. Scroll down and find Bloombot right here you're going to click over here it's going to take you to this page you're going to press join bloombot with telegram once you do that it's going to take you to a second page which is this you, you're going to go to trade now it's going to load up then you if you already have the telegram desktop app this is the prompt it's going to give you or you can also just start bot as well Once you do that, this is where it's going to take you. And the first time you're going to enter uh, this bot, what's going to happen is that it's going to give you your wallet address and your private key. So make sure you keep that private key safe. You don't share it with anyone. And you have to keep it really safe, in, preferably in some safe folder that nobody has access to other than yourself. And make sure you don't lose it because if you lose it, you will lose access to this. So be careful of that so once you have saved your private key successfully uh, you're gonna want to go to menu and start you can also just uh, type in slash start and that'll also work once you do that this is the menu you are going to see so you can see bloom guides bloom x bloom website bloom portal it's just telling you all about bloom uh, you can read the guides it's it's very detailed and you can take help from here as well but i'm going to try to cover everything here as well in this video so first thing uh, so first things first you want to go to bloom guides it's going to take you to the link it's loading up all right it has loaded up you're going to go you're going to scroll down uh, to the miscellaneous and you're going to find a chrome extension once you do you're going to go to how it works bloom docs once that loads up it says here uh, the official extension links are the ones you find in chrome and firefox so let me just make sure yeah this is the one mm, yeah so you're going to want to click this right here since we're using google chrome you're going to go to the chrome store okay download the extension using the official chrome store link so this is the official link you don't want to end up downloading the wrong thing all right or from the wrong source so just go to this link right here it's loading up there we go that's Bloom extension. You're going to go to Add to Chrome. Add extension. Give it a bit of time to load. Okay, that is done. Yes, that is pretty much it. Uh, you're going to find the extension over here on the top right hand side. There you go, Bloom extension. So if you want it to stay here within your extensions what you can do is you can just uh, highlight this clicking it once now uh, you can see it over here right you can also see the nova bot extension that we used previously in, the, in one of our other videos this is the bloom bot so once it's there you can click on it there we go now it's going to tell you to verify and in order to do that you need to click get code all right wait for it and you're going to open telegram desktop and welcome to bloom's extension this is your access code there we go we got the access code please enter it in the extension within the next five minutes to log in all right let's copy this and let's go back back here let's paste it here and verify 
there you go once it's verified this is what you're going to see and see how easy that was simple straightforward so now let's go to settings so once you're inside the settings uh, you're in the preset manager this is where we are going to uh, set our settings and this will be uh, shown further in when we connect it to Bullex Neo when this extension is activated then you can use these same settings inside Bullex Neo it makes it so much easier and so much faster so first of all you are going to name this uh, you can name it pretty much anything let's name it example one for now all right so let's set this to 0 0.1 comma 0 0.25 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 0.75 comma 1 comma 1.5 now let's set the cell percentage at uh 10 25 35 remember to have commas in between uh 50 75 and 100 there we go so this is 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, 1.5, and the cell percentage is 10, 25, 35, 50, 75, and 100. Next, we're going to go to the buy fee. We're going to set this as 0 0.001. So this buy fee is the same as your uh, gas fee that you see on Bullex Neo. We're going to set all of these the same, 0 0.001. 0 0.001 and lastly 0 0.001 so i would recommend this to be at one or two because during the busy hours you want your bias to come in quickly so these fees are for normal hours uh, when there's normal trading if that isn't the case then you can always change the ones to twos so next comes the buy slippage we're going to keep it at 25 and we're also going to keep the cell slippage at 25 okay now all of these settings are done so next it's the anti-mef for buys anti-mef for sells and auto tip uh, you want to keep this on right uh, you want to keep this uh, on or off it's uh, up to you according to the scenario However, auto tip needs to be off, all right, because you want to control this on your own. You don't want to automate this. Uh, that would not be good. So keep it in your control. So you'll have to keep it off. Now we're going to go to uh, save preset. There we go. This is the setting. This is what we saved. Now what's going to happen is that uh, we're going to load Bullex Neo. So now that we're inside Bullex Neo, uh, if you don't have access to Bullex Neo, uh, go to one of our videos where I explain how you can get access to Bullex Neo. Uh, we've already explained that in one of our previous videos. So once you have Bullex Neo, you can basically go to any of the tokens. And this will pop up right here. This is the extension, Bloombot extension. Uh, in case it doesn't pop up, try refreshing the page and that should make it work. All right and one more thing over here uh, you're gonna see a buy option in green and a buy option in purple so the purple basically represents bloombot and the green represents bullex neo why it isn't showing up right now is because my uh, wallet isn't funded so once you've done that uh, let's say you want to import your bullex neo wallet so you're gonna go to your settings over here then you're going to go to wallets you want to go to import wallet all right paste it over here all right once you're done pasting it then your wallet will have successfully imported and over here it says w1 so along with that it's going to say w2 you're going to see two wallets over here so now you can go back and go to the fee after you go to the fee, uh, make sure to change this. Right now it says N slash A. So 
all. We need to change that. Please enter your desired bundle tip amount and so. So we're going to write the same over here 0 0.001. Enter. And that is done. So why we did this is because we're basically uh, mimicking the same what we did here. Uh, let me show you if it's still here. Yeah. So you can see here all, all four of these are similar, are exactly similar. To all of these see so you want to keep these the same as those settings all right so let's go back and let's go back again oh yeah one more thing uh let's go back into settings uh wallets and the w2 you are going to see here not one w2 the one that you just imported you're going to go there you're going to make sure that both of these are turned to green they're not red all right because if they're red uh, they're not working it's not going to work all right so make sure these are enabled uh, spot is enabled and default is enabled uh, because essentially we are uh, spot trading right so this needs to be on you can go back back let's go back to bullex neo so you can do what i did you can go to your wallet manager and you can basically just uh, import your bloom out and you can just import it here and then it'll show here and then you can basically let me show you so if you're going to buy or sell it's going to show here if you're going to in the chart so if you're going to buy it's going to show you buy here if you if you sell it's going to show you the sell here so that's how it's going to be so keep in mind that this happens out of bloom wallet if you had any other wallet let's say neo or photon so what you need to do is the same we, we went into wallets and we added the private key and then we uh, implemented it as long as you're doing that it'll work and yeah that's how it is and there won't be a need to get the private key uh, sported into the Neo. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I have uh, covered everything. They did make some recent updates recently. Uh, this share profit and loss and create sniper task that you can do. Um, this is where you do the quick buys. This, you, this is from where you do the quick sells. And it's pretty straightforward. I, 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 pers I personally think that uh, Bloombot is much easier than uh, multiple other bots out there. Uh, I'll, I'll say this, that, uh, and this is just my personal opinion. When I started as a beginner, it was much more easier to get into Bloombot than it was to get into other bots. So maybe it'll be the same for you. Uh, maybe not. You can let me know in the comment section which bot is your favorite and what your uh, favorite uh, settings are, your tips and tricks. A lot of people do uh, prefer this over Nova. I feel like it varies from person to person. I think that this is good for beginners, especially since it's much easier to get into in my opinion. So try it out, see how it goes for you. Maybe you will find Nova to be easier. Maybe you'll find this to be easier. Uh, I feel like most people would find this easier. And I'm saying that from my own uh, personal experience. Uh, and I believe there are too many people on Nova now, uh, quite a lot of users there. So uh, this is still, uh, this, this still doesn't have as many users as Nova, as far as I remember. So there's that. And this is also really fast. I do recommend this. Uh, when you buy, it quickly buys. When it sells, it quickly sells. It's pretty fast. So it makes your life easier. The extension works really well. So I would definitely recommend this. I would especially recommend it to beginners as well and yeah i think that's uh pretty much it uh, in case there's something i missed uh you can let me know but i feel like i may have just covered each and everything you can also uh read the guides the official guides and uh yeah uh one more thing you want to make sure is that <clears throat> before you apply your settings uh, make sure that your Bullex Neo is ready. It's logged in. These these settings, right here. You don't want to do this uh, before uh, 
uh, you don't want to do this before you have logged into Bullix Neo. First, log into Bullix Neo, keep a tab open on the site, then apply these settings, and then go to Bullix Neo. All right, because what can happen is that if you do this, if you do this first and then log into Bullix Neo, you might have trouble logging in. It might not let you log in. It might restrict you. It might uh, say login failed again and again. So be careful of that. As long as you have this logged in beforehand and it's there open in another tab and then you apply these settings, it will work. It will work very easily. All right. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.